teacher world. I'm Anna Butova and it is my very first Art Mishka floss tube. Who am I and why do I think that you will be interested in listening to what I'm about to say? Uh, I will try to explain to you right now. Um, I am a cross stitch designer and I am a teacher with 40 years of experience. When I was five years old, my grandfather showed me how to cross stitch. I loved it instantly and I still love it and I do it every single day. In 2018, I founded my own company. Yes, how it's called, Art Mishka Cross Stitch. Uh, and I turned my hobby, my life passion into my own business. You can find my charts in my own Etsy shop or you can visit one of the biggest retailers around the world uh, like uh, 123 Stitch, Casa Chinina. I'm going to leave you more information just here under in description to this video. Check it out. Or if you say, well, I don't care about shopping, uh, maybe you will also spot my designs in the magazines like, for example, Just Cross Stitch and just cross stitch. <laughs> so what this floss tube is going to be about? Uh, you definitely will agree with me that nowadays the social media is becoming a kind of full-time job. For me, it's an always a headache. Uh, did I post it on Instagram? Did I post it on the Facebook? Did I say this? Did I say that? Etc. So it's really overwhelming. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to make this floss tube a monthly thing so I can kind of combine the information, um, combine all the events that I had for the last month and um, in a convenient way make a kind of summary everything what has happened, just maybe it will even help me to organize my mind but I'm also going to share it with you and in case if you like me enjoy stitching while watching some podcasts or or tv shows so that could be another interesting thing for you to do to um, enjoy my insights okay without further ado let's start and let's talk April April and couple of first days of May, depending when you are watching this video. Uh, wait a second, I have here a plan, so then I don't miss anything. And the news number one is Stitch Alone Animal Alphabet. So those who knows me a little bit, so possibly you know that um, a couple of months ago we started with a new uh, project and use teach alone project. It's a 26 part mystery sal where each letter is represented by one of these cute animals. Uh, I am doing this sal together with you, so you're not the only one. Uh, every two weeks, be weekly, I present a new part of this uh, stitch alone project. Right now, me, I am at the letter K. Uh, another two letters have already been released, but I didn't have a chance to stitch them yet. If you are interested, please join us anytime. Uh, the moment that you're joining the cell, you can download all the ready parts, and then every new part you will receive to your email be weekly. I am going to send it to you. So, no pressure, you can work the style in your own pace, you can stitch together with us as soon as a new part release, you can wait, so it's all, all <laughs> up to you how we're gonna do it. So far I can say that this project has been uh, a big, big fun for me. Each part is very small, it's um, approximately uh, 45 by 30 squares size of each part. It's very small. It takes me literally, literally uh, three, four hours to complete each part. And I am making it like a, a little break from this bigger project, from the bigger project. And I have 
a lot a lot a lot of fun actually i'm also planning maybe to stitch those fun animals for the other projects because i think it will be really cool for um i don't know to decorate some of the clothes me i have a three years old son who already said that the giraffe is his favorite and he said that he wants to have the same somewhere for him personally and i'm still thinking possibly i can do it uh, on one of his shirts or something so still there are a lot of things to do so it's a cool thing and we will keep doing with that okay news number two uh last uh, summer last summer last sunday we celebrated the mother day here in italy i'm not sure if it's also celebrated all over the world i guess in us as well for sure so and um, for that holiday i presented this um free pattern super mom oh but yeah I hope you could see it well it's a very simple chart it's very easy to complete uh, in fact that is my second uh, stitching of this chart the one that this one was the very first one that I model stitch where they just created the chart but then I stitched the second one that I uh, finished as a card and gave it to a friend of mine because she just had her fourth baby and I thought that that uh, chart that card will be really uh, will, will really mean a lot to her so that is my second one and it is for free you can download it in my face group cross stitch patterns by Anna Gutova join any moment if you still didn't uh, and download it and do uh, your your own project In April I made another pattern and actually I finished it at this cute patchwork pillow uh, that I'm planning to keep in my son's bedroom uh, that was something Mm, I really wanted to create something small, something small, easy to stitch and something cute and I came up with this cute little bear. I call this pattern 90, 90 nights and, um, and first when I stitched it I was thinking, oh, what can I do with this? Uh, it is such an interesting subject that, well, not... Uh, it's, it's, it's a subject that actually has to be placed on the pillow. And that is how I came up with, um, with this patchwork finishing of this pillow. I purchased the ready set of patchwork fabric. So you see it was six different, um, different fabrics so that I combined together. I chose the one that I thought was matching well with this little cute bear who is sleeping oh sorry just my things are uh, about to fall so and this is how the pillows that i made so and when i already listed the chart in my in my shop and then i decided that oh you know now i want to finish it as a pillow i made a lot of photos and i prepared a step by step instruction how to make up this cushion so uh, mm, it will be listed within the next couple of days so if you buy a chart 99 with this funny little cute bear you will also get a full instruction a step-by-step -step instruction about how to make up the cushion how to make up this specifically cushion the patchwork cushion and how to make the cushion how to make up the cushion with the um, envelope opening back in case if you prefer a different kind so then you can also make the same finish as I did what else did I do I completed one of the most favorite 
charts that I have ever created. I'm absolutely in love with this pattern. Uh, maybe it's not really modest to say, but I am so proud of this one. I absolutely love how it looks like on this dark um, blue navy Ida. Um, I, 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 I'm so in love with the colors, how it is shining. Um, it's been released not long ago, but it's already a total bestseller in, um, in my shop and also in the other retail shops around the globe. Uh, I have even done a couple of kits, the custom made kits for this pattern. Um, another thing what I wanted to say, how I finish my stitched charts. For sure, it could be one way that you will want to frame it. You can buy the, the professional frame and do all this job. Since I have so many uh, patterns that I need them to be somehow finished. I need them to be on something solid. I cannot just have a piece of fabric. So look what I do. Uh, this is a normal cardboard and uh, my son actually is an um, amazing supplier for this kind of cardboards. So I just cut a piece that I need and I simply with the threads uh, make it, make it, uh, I, I forgot the word sometimes when I speak English, I keep forgetting the right words. So I would like to <laughs> ask your, <laughs> Uh, um, uh, just 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 ask for your excuse you see it's again I forgot the the phrase I guess I'm just overwhelmed with this design but I think just by looking at that you can already figure out how I finished it and uh, it's just sitting on my desk most of the time and time to time I look at this and I'm like wow it is so cool another finish that I've done it is sitting right here. It is this pretty lady, the pattern that is called on the swing. Actually, I have this pattern in two versions. The one it is um, the one that you see right here with the red hair. And also I have one with the blonde hair. So in my website, you can also purchase the chart where the hairs are of the different color, because I know that many, um, Customers of mine are making those projects as a gift and they are looking for somebody who really look like a person they're planning to give it to. Um, totally love it. Uh, the interesting fact that that gorgeous Ida, dyed Ida, I hope you can see what amazing color it is. Uh, that piece I got as a gift when I placed my order in um, Italian Casa Cinina, amazing retail shop uh, where I usually get all my supplies and I got it as a little gift. They're usually adding to, um, to the orders some small piece of fabric as a gift, as a thank you for the order. And I got that fabric and look what a gorgeous result it gave to my uh, uh, work and as you see my beautiful finishing again the supplied by my three-year-old son and here I have a little girl what else and I have one work in progress the work in progress that I have right now in my frame it is this blue aquarelle in fact, it's going to be a series of designs. I have ready the blue one, I have ready the green aquarelle, and another one is coming soon that I'm not gonna talk much about. It's going to be a little surprise. Uh, that, um, that, 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 that pattern uses backstitch, and normally when I stitch, I work backstitching as I go. I'm not leaving all backstitching in the end. In this specific design, I decided to change my rules. 
I'm gonna complete all cross stitches. It's all full stitches. It's very, very easy to stitch. This chart using, uses only 11 DMC shades and it's all very easy color blocks. So it's really, it's, it's very, very simple to stitch and the result is, uh, impresses me. I love it. So in this work specifically, I decided to complete the cross stitching and then only start back stitching because I love so much how it looks like. So I don't feel like I start covering it with the back stitching yet. And I want actually to see how it looks without back stitching at all and then add back stitching and, um, and compare the difference. So just to see, it's a, it's a kind of a test for me for the future ideas, what else can be done. Okay, I hope that when we're gonna see you next time, I will already show you the ready one, possibly both kind with and without back stitching. And uh, right here in my computer, you can see a completely new pattern that I'm working on right now. It is hydrangea. I hope I pronounce it correctly. It's such a complicated name of the flower. I love those flowers, even though I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. I love the flowers a lot, a lot, a lot. And I was always dreaming about uh, creating a chart. Um, I am planning not to use back stitching at all. It's going to be only cross stitches. Maybe, maybe, maybe a couple of back stitching, maybe not. So, so far it is, but definitely if it's going to be, it's going to be literally uh, very few stitches uh, done. So here it is my color palette for this design. This is how I normally work. I um, always choose with the real threads my color palette that definitely I can adjust as I work, add something, remove something like that. But this is so far and I, I, I love it so much. It is so summery, it is so fresh, it is so bold. It's uh, <laughs> just, <laughs> I love it already now and I can't wait. Um, as soon as I completed to present it to you and of course to start stitching it myself so I can have and see how it was all looking in the real threads. So here it is all my news for April. I will keep working. I will go to keep uh, making uh, my designs. I hope you enjoyed my news. Let's keep in touch. Uh, in the description, I'm gonna leave all my contacts so you can find me basically in all social medias <laughs> that, that are existing. No, actually it's not true. I'm in a very few of them, but at least I'm in the most uh, common social media. So let's be friends. Um, I am very reachable. Drop me a message. If you are stitching something using my designs, please uh, uh, share them with me. It, it really, it makes my day uh, and it, it literally makes my day to see uh, the, ready, um, the, the ready stitching used to you, using my, my designs. And thank you so much for making Art Mishka possible. Uh, all this would not be really possible without you. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy the sun, enjoy the summer that is about to be here uh, 